Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another Gortober episode. Today's, well, yesterday's theme uh, was Fresh Wounds, and I decided to feature my OC Salmon. I, I re- okay, so a lot of people already know about Salmon, because Salmon is generally just like one of my more popular characters, and you know, people just, uh, they, they really like him a lot, and I figured, hey, why not, like, use this as a chance to add a little bit of Salmon's, like, lore and backstory into how he lost his arm, because a lot of people ask about that, like, a lot. Every other comment I get is, oh my gosh, why is Salmon's arm missing? What happened to it? Um, where did it go? Here, here's what happened. Um, so for the people who don't know, volcanoes can exist underwater and one erupted, and then that caused tons of rocks to fall and issues, and Salmon was trying to save some fish, specifically a school of fish, from the volcanic rocks, and his arm got hit with one of them. So, that's it, basically summarized in, like, a very, very quick sentence. There's a lot more, you know, that happens, of course, but I figured, you know, like, some people are waiting for a basic explanation. Uh, as for how I feel about this piece generally, though, I'd actually say I'm pretty happy with it. The lighting came out really nice, surprisingly, and I was actually, like, kind of, kind of proud of this. Salmon looks good. Um, the blood came out nice, the line art is nice, the, like, perspective came out pretty okay. I, I don't know. This one just actually, like, came out kind of good. Um, and, I don't know, I, I wasn't super rushed, so I, I didn't feel too stressed or anything. It, it was just, like, kind of nice to make this piece, if I do say so myself. And, yeah, I don't know, I'm just happy with it. Unfortunately, on the other hand, I actually don't like the way this piece came out at all. Um, I'm just not super proud of it, because the lighting didn't come out good, and you'll see what I mean, but everything else is generally fine, I'd say. Like, it looks fine. It's just not my personal favorite, but to explain what's going on, this is a Mori fan art. For the people who don't know what a Mori is, a Mori is a video game, and this does have spoilers for a scene, so if you're like, oh, spoilers, uh, dude, stop, stop, stop watching. <laughs> So basically, for the people who are like, I don't care about spoilers, um, this is a scene where the character Basil, which is the one with the green hair, gets basically attacked by his friends in the dream world that exists in Amori, and they, um, kinda just, I, I don't know how to describe it without it sounding incredibly violent, so let's say they, uh, they bonk him on the head until he goes bye-bye. There. <laughs> um, like, a uh, like, crude language aside, um, I, I do love Amori. Amori's a really good game, and it, like I said, if you know this scene, then you'll be like, oh yeah, this is cool, but, like, for the people who don't know, they're like, this is weird. <laughs> But regardless, I mean, this piece isn't my favorite, but I'd say, like, it, it came out, it came out okay. On, on a different note, though, I, I will say I do like the, the background, and I like the way that Hero looks. Hero looks very spooky, and I'm very happy about that. And I also kind of like the way that Aubrey looks. Kel came out okay. I, I could have done him a little more justice, but I did use the dream versions of them, and I based it more off their pixel sprites, because, I don't know. However, uh, that's all the time I have for today, so I hope you'll enjoy these pieces, regardless of the second one not being my favorite, and I hope you have a lovely day!